Okay, for the first one, if you plug in one half into all the x, yes, you guessed it, you end up with 0 over 0. So we have to do more work. Well, it's not easy to factor this expression on the top. It's okay, because we can just do polynomial divisions right here. So I will do a long division right here, which is 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4. And then on the outside, I'll put down 2x minus 1. And here we go. Compare the first term with the first term right here. You have to ask yourself, what times 2x will give us 2x to a third power? We know 1 times 2 is 2. And then we know x squared times x is going to give us x to a third power. Therefore, I need x squared. Right? So you find out the x squared term right here. Now, multiply x squared with 2x. We end up with 2x to a third power. And don't forget to do 2x times, don't forget to do x squared times minus 1, which is negative x squared like this. And then for long division, of course, you subtract and then be sure you put a minus in the parentheses like this. Okay, this minus that cancel. Next, negative 7x squared minus minus in another word. Negative 7x squared plus x squared give us negative 6x squared, right? And then we continue, this is minus 5x, and this time, compare this and that. What do we need? What times 2 is negative 6? That's negative 3, right? And then what times x will give me x squared? I just need an x. So you take negative 3x, times 2x, we end up negative 6x squared. And then negative 3x times negative 1 give us positive 3x, like this. And then once again, subtract, you put the parentheses like this. Now, this minus that, they are gone. Negative 5x minus 3x give us negative 8x. And then you put this down, so you put on plus 4, well, what do I need next? Seems like I just need a negative 4 because negative 4 times 2x give us negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 1 gives us positive 4. When you subtract, this time is 0. So, in another word, this right here all simplifies to this, namely x squared minus 3x minus 4. And you don't have to factor this anymore because once again, when you divide this out, this right here is the result. So let me put this down. This original question is equal to the limit as x approaching one half of just this, namely, I'll uh, just put this down in purple, x squared minus 3x minus 4, right? Well, now you are going to put on one half into all the x. So let's see, we have one half, and you square that, minus three half, pretty much, right? minus three times one half, and then minus four, like that. Do this on your own. Oh, do this in your head, let's see. This is one over four. This is negative three over two. So if you have one over four minus three over two, to get the common denominator, so it's, it's 1 over 4 minus 6 over 4. So in other words, this is negative 5 over 4 together, so negative 5 over 4, right? And then minus 4, which is same thing as minus 16 over 4. So this and that is minus 21, yeah, over 4. So just do the fraction on your own, right? Right. Now, Another one right here. It's also, you know, we need a lot of algebra for, for this. Yes, you end up with 0 over 0. This time, you have a complex fraction. So this is what you can do. Denominator here, denominator here. 2x plus 1 and then also 7. There's no common factor. Go ahead, multiply the top and bottom by 7 and also the 2x plus 1. So multiply by the lowest common denominator of the small fractions. And good things will happen, just trust me. All right, here we have the limit as x approaching three. When you take this times that, the two x plus one cancel, so you just get seven x on the top. 
And then, when you do this time start, 7 cancel, don't forget to do negative 3 times this, right? And perhaps I will just write this down for you guys. Well, actually, I'll just multiply this out. Negative 3 times 2x gives us negative 6x. Negative 3 times 1 gives us negative 3, like that, right? On the bottom, well, the purpose of doing this was to fix the top. So on the bottom, I will just keep it as how it is. Perhaps I'll write down 7 first, and then this, which is x minus 3, and then that, which is 2x plus 1. Now on the top, you see 7x minus 6x. That's nicely equal to x, and then of course we have the minus 3. So, as you can see, the top is just this. I can cancel this one with that one out. In the end, we have a 1 on the top, and I'll put a string to the x. And we have the 7 here times 2 times string to the x. And we add 1 right here, close the parentheses. This is 6 plus 1 is 7 times 7 is 49, but it's in the denominator, so we have 1 over 49. Right? Done. Right? So hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful. And yeah, uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, that's it.